Hi everyone, it's Dawn and I hope you're having a fantastic day. Well, some people have issued a challenge as they're talking about things that people do on cruise ships and um, I'll admit it right now, I, I will fail this 100% of the time. I will fail this challenge of not doing this on a cruise ship. Today's video is brought to you by Private Internet Access. All right, I've touted many, many times the benefits of having a VPN to protect your identity, to make it harder for hackers to steal your information, to protect your bank accounts, etc. Did you know also there's a side benefit to it as well? Well, for one thing, when I'm traveling into Europe, for instance, I cannot access my Netflix account. I can't access my Disney Plus account. I can't even access my Canadian Prime Video account. So what do I do? I log on to my VPN, click Canada, and now the system thinks I'm back in Canada and I can access my Netflix. I can access anything I'm trying to watch as if I'm right there back at home sitting in my own living room. So no matter where you're traveling around the world, Having a VPN, if you need to do something and make it look like you're someplace else, a VPN is exactly what you need. Now, why did I choose private internet access? Well, one thing, they have unlimited devices. I can do not one, not four, not 10, unlimited devices under the same plan, as well as they have a no log policy, which makes it, you know, they don't store my information. If I don't want anyone else to have my information, why would I want them to have my information? So they have a no log policy, which has been proven in court by a third party audit. So if you'd like the peace of mind when you're traveling, as well as be able to do almost anything on the computer that you want to do and don't get those stupid screens that say, hey, uh, not available in your country, why not follow my link down below and get 83% off your subscription as well as four months free. Thank you again to Private Internet Access for sponsoring this video. Okay, so as you all know for myself, I have a little bit of a different situation here, but what we're talking about now is disconnecting. Can you go on a seven day cruise and not use your phone at all, at all? Now, we're not talking just making a phone call or text messages. We're talking hooking up to the internet, browsing of any kind, searching TikTok, even taking pictures of your food at dinner or in an entertainment or filming pictures of family members. Could you just leave your phone in the safe, put it locked up and pick it up on the, the day of disembarkation? I don't think I could do it. Now, even if I didn't do this for a living, I would still want to take pictures on my thing. However, they say you can take a camera. A camera is a different story because cameras you can't all of a sudden stop what you're doing and start searching the internet. Cameras you can't just start, you know, playing music at it and listening to it. You can't just suddenly start text messaging your friends. You can't do those things on a camera. So a camera you bring up, you film and boom, you're done. It's a quick thing where a phone, people get distracted. They'll take longer pictures with their phone than they will with a camera. And then they'll, you know, oh, I'm going to send it to my friends now where cameras, you don't do that. So cameras are accepted, but not your phone. And I don't, you know, quite honestly, I, I probably couldn't do it. I love taking pictures everywhere I go. I love taking videos where I'm going places and I love sharing them with friends while I'm on my trips and travels. But I also do this for a living. So it's a little different story, right? I have clients I like to send pictures to once in a while if they're thinking on going on this destination or anything. Like when I go on the Sun Princess next month, I have uh, you know, close to 250, 300 people coming on the Sun Princess with me on a cruise in December. I'm going to be sharing those out on Facebook and on YouTube and on uh, Instagram for everyone to see. So I don't think I could do that on a cruise. However, there is a trip I am planning next year that I'm going to be forced to do it through no 
through no choices of my own. Because if I didn't have to do it, I wouldn't do it. Um, but I booked a trip to Africa next year on safari and there is no cell service at all. And there is no internet at all where I'm going for a solid week on the trip. So I will be like, I honestly feel I'll, I may go through withdrawals. I may actually go through withdrawals on there because I'll be searching for my phone every 10 seconds and it won't be with me. I'll have a camera with me. I'll have a video camera with me. I'll have that sort of stuff, but I won't have my phone. I also won't even have a computer with me on that trip because there's no use because there's no Wi-Fi and there's no internet and there's no connection to the cell service. There's no nothing. So why would I carry a computer all the way with me? Because also on these trips, there's a very big weight restriction for when you go to these trips. For instance, I have not, I'm not allowed a hard covered suitcase. It has to be cloth. So like a duffel bag and it has to be under a certain weight, like 33 pounds. So I don't have room to put computers and um, you know a lot of stuff into it. So I'm gonna be forced to do this. But if you told me that, hey Don, you're going on a cruise uh, for 16 days, you're not allowed to bring your phone. First of all, I'd go crazy. Second of all, I'd lose a million customers. Um, my businesses would, would fall apart. I don't think I could do it, but I'm not, I'm not a person who doesn't need their phone for work. So I'm wondering out there, how many of you could actually do this? And how many actually do do it? How many put your phone away and just unwind? Now, it's just, I'm wondering, could you even accept that challenge? Could you get on your next seven day cruise or longer Put your phone in the safe and not open it anymore. How much would it bother you? How much would you be wondering how many phone calls you're missing? How many text messages you're missing? But I, I think it's an interesting experiment. And I wonder how many could do it. Put your phone next time you go on a cruise, put your phone in the safe and see how many days you can last without taking it out of the safe. I bet you for most of us, it wouldn't last very long. Whether you say you disconnect or not, but when I go to the theater at night, the vast, vast majority of people in there have their phones out before, <laughs> you know, before the show is starting. They're browsing things on the internet, they're chatting with people, they're sending messages, they're doing all kinds of things. So I don't think there's too many people out there actually taking up this challenge. But guess what? I will be in June of next year because I will have absolutely no choice.